the Liberal government has delivered a budget. Does this budget address the fast-changing global economy and sweeping changes south of the border? Let's talk to Mr. Bob Saroya. He is a member of Parliament and represents the riding of Markham Unionville. Join me in welcoming him to the studio. Thank you so much for being here, Bob. Thank you so much for inviting me and I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. We appreciate you taking the time. So unpack this budget for us, please. There is um, nothing in this budget for the hard-working Canadians. Mm -hmm. The Prime Minister Trudeau is nickeling and diming hard-working people. Mm -hmm. There is nothing in the budget except the deficit, 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 which the future generations of Canadians are going to be paying for it. Let's talk about the deficit. Let's, let's tie it with, 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 the, with the, the debts. In 2015, Mr. Trudeau said he's going to get tiny, tiny $9 billion in 2016, another $9 billion in 2017, and another $6 billion in uh, in 19 and 2020 will be balanced budget. Mm -hmm. Guess what, what are the chances of that happening? Oh God! Because it, it's already it, gone way over it, that. It, it, it's absolutely nothing is happening. Mm. PBO, the independent, uh, 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 the government body said it is pushed up to next 39 years. The person who's 18 years old, uh, young person. By the time he, the person will be 55 years old, by the time it will balance the budget, if he does not, the government does not borrow any more money. But he, he's already breaking the rules. He's already breaking the, his promise time after time, especially in this file, from 25 billion to 130 billion, I believe is the number over the next five years, next six years, who's gonna for, pay for it? There is no free money. It is absolutely or borrowed money. How much interest we're going to pay on it? Remember that interest we are paying to uh, on this money. How many schools? How many roads? Uh, how many homes we could build for the homeless people? This is the problem. Well, the revenue is not a problem with this government. Spending habits are. Mm, well, anybody can be generous with other people's money, right? Uh, ab absolutely. <laughs> it's very easy to be generous. Especially when we tie it up with the Kathleen Wynne. I know. That is scary. That is absolutely scary. What has happened in Ontario? And I don't even know if we combine you know, deficit of Ontario with, with the federal deficit. I mean, how are we ever going to be able to get out of this? It's a scary show. Mm. When we get in power, I'm hoping we get it back in 2019, we have to come back with the solution. What will be your solution? Solution, put a stop to spending money, just like us, just like the normal families. We know what our income is, we know what our revenue is, right? Uh, mortgage need to be paid, car payment need to be paid, insurance, the children, the... Yeah, you have a budget. Every family has one, yeah. right? And then people try to stay within that budget and not try to get out of it as much as possible. I can give you my personal example. I, I put three kids to the universities, right? Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, luckily in my case, my older son become MD now, right? It's if we spend the money these guys are spending, I could never have the money to put my kids through the school. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's is a very- The same principle. Same principle. Mm -hmm. it, it's, the, it's, it's the prime minister is the head of the family. Mm -hmm. And if he's out of control, the whole mm -hmm. families, what we teaching to our kids? Mm -hmm. Where are we going with this? Where are we going with this uh, um, uh, nickeling and diming the hard working Canadians. Right. Now, here's a very big question that a lot of Canadians are mm -hmm. concerned about. Mm -hmm. Carbon tax. Yes. Right? It, because it's not going to uh, make us competitive, mm -hmm. uh, especially when coming to trade with our neighbors in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Because 80% of Canadians who do business uh, with the United States mm -hmm. will become totally um, you know, they will not have the competitive edge. 
I mean, how do they compete with, uh, with the country that is going to do away with carbon tax? Mal and why, why do we even need this? Mal, you are so right on this one. South of the border, U.S., they are our competitors. Uh, we do 300 um, some odd billion mm -hmm. dollars Worth of trade with them. Uh, worth of trade. Uh, I believe we spend about 300 billion to their side. They spend another 260 billion this way. This is all together something. It's a huge number. Mm -hmm. uh, we compete with each other. Uh, and on the south of the border, um, uh, Mr. Trump is saying he's, g he's going away from it. That's right. Meantime, on our side, if you remember exactly on January 1st this year, mm -hmm. January 1st this year, our uh, gas price gone up 4.5 cents. Right. A liter, per mm -hmm. liter. It's not coming back, it's moving forward. It'll be another, I believe, another 4.5 cents in January 2018 and, and so on. What would tax is a tax? Mm -hmm. I have no problem paying the taxes if it does make the difference. Uh, Hardworking people, Canadian, they have to go to work. I have to drive to Ottawa, for example, if you want to use my example. Mm -hmm. uh, women have to take the kids to school. Mm -hmm. They have to take the kids to hockey game, take the kids to library, uh, grocery shopping, mm -hmm. and so on. What does this tax mean? It makes zero, zero effect because to the environment. Exactly. And, um, and moreover, I mean, Canadians are responsible people. I don't know of too many people who are being irresponsible in terms of harming our environment. Even if uh, countries impose this type of uh, tax on their people, it uh, and the rest of them are not following. China is not following that policy. They don't want to honor this policy. India has its own, these are two very major countries, and they have their own policies. And now United States, the world's largest economy, is going to do away with it. Where does it leave us? The, let's talk about in Canada, uh, what I understand is they produce 1.66 percent <laughs> to the entire equation. Yeah, I know. And this, if we put our uh, rainforest mm -hmm. in British Columbia and up north, we probably bring zero to the table. Mm -hmm. Zero to the table. Uh, the biggest polluters, United States, China, India, and I believe between these three countries is 65 percent. Until those people come to the table, reality, in reality, not the buzzwords, mm. we are not going anywhere. Right. It's, the, it's a crystal clear from Mr. Trump. He said he doesn't believe in it. Yes, because, it, you, because when your country is hurting, right, economically, and we are also hurting economically right now because, you know, people don't have jobs. People uh, look at our real estate market, you know, all the, uh, you mm -hmm. know, foreign investors are coming and buying a house. Local people, hardworking people who have contributed to making this country what it is, mm -hmm. well, they can't buy because, you know what, they don't have those kinds of jobs. And with a little bit of money that they do make if they have a job, then most of it is, you know, taken away in taxes. So somebody needs to look at the little people, mm -hmm. you know, who are working hard. And Canada belongs to Canadians first, right? So anyone who is in power that we elect mm -hmm. as uh, our representatives mm -hmm. must think of Canadians first. You know, a lot of people want to have a policy, Canada first policy. Absolutely. CPC. There's nothing wrong with that. Conservative Party of Canada, when Mr. Harp was in power, mm. you see it. We created 1.2 million jobs, the taxes. We always believe, believe in We need the taxes, but responsible taxes. Of course. Uh, uh, without taxes, we have to build the bridges, roads. Tr uh, and trust. people are happy to pay those because we understand we need to make a <clears throat> contribution to keeping this country running. So. The problem happens when people, hardworking people, who, uh, you know, when they see that their dollars or their hard-earned money is not being utilized properly. Absolutely. Are being squandered away, really. First, the taxes are too high. Mm -hmm. First, I'll tell you a funny story. Uh, on um, 
last Wednesday when uh, we were going to the House of Commons to uh, to listen to the presentation of the uh, of the budget. Uh, one of my liberal friend, uh, there there are some liberal, good liberal MPs on the back bench. Of course, but nobody pay attention to them. Nobody listen to them. They have their own uh, ideas, views, but nobody listens on the front mm -hmm. desk. So one of the MP made this comment. He said, "It is the payday." Hmm. I said, "Payday for who?" <laughs> he said, "For us, the government." <laughs> right. it, it is funny. It, it is funny coming from a liberal MP. Yes, and you know what? This is how it used to be before mm. Mr. Trudeau became the Prime Minister, that the MPs represented their writings, the people. Now everybody in a liberal government is supposed to vote a certain way according to what mm. our prime minister thinks is best for our country, and that's not good. That's not democracy. You reminded me something back in late 80s and 90s when Mr. Christian was the prime minister, then uh, uh, Paul Martin was the prime minister. Uh, the the word was in the, in the news on the seven days a week, 24 hours a day, the entitlement, liberal entitlement, liberal entitlement. Um, that that entitlement is back. It's back on the table. Yeah. Uh, either Mr. Trudeau's entitlement uh, going to uh, Aga Khan's island uh, or uh, his ministers using... Uh, uh, money from the uh, the Trudeau Fo Tru Trudeau, uh, Trudeau Foundation's yeah. lobbyist. Every week there is a, some sort of investigation either into the Mr. But Trudeau. But why are they not taking these things seriously? Entitlement. <laughs> so I thought, yeah. honestly, I thought they learned uh, back in uh, from right after Paul Martin and Christian era because they were beaten bad by the Canadians, uh, they become the third third party. Mm. But I thought they would have learned something, right. but obviously well, not. Well, they have to pay attention because according to the new poll that just came out yesterday, 99% mm. of Canadians do not approve of what Mr. Uh, Trudeau is doing. So it will be wise of him to pay attention to this because if there are 99% of people who are not happy with it, that includes the Liberals also. So that is not something that is very good at all. In last year, uh, I believe Mr. Trudeau was absent from the House of Commons 66 percent. Imagine if any one of the people listening to this interview, uh, to, 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 our, uh, to our conversation, if they miss 5 percent, mm -hmm. they will be sent home. Well, he is asked to be the the leader of our country. Yeah. And, uh, you know, yeah. I would think that maybe that's what he wants. And he wanted to be that. So if that is something that he really wanted, then he needs to do his bit and come to the House <laughs> of Commons. Because that's, that's your job, <laughs> right? Two weeks ago, yeah. he proposed mm -hmm. something new, unheard of, unimagined, uh, said, he would like to come to the House of Commons once a week mm. for the question period, which is 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. And, and do what for the rest of the day and rest of the week? And so we are there. The, the House is open about 26 weeks a year. Uh, in other words, he would come to House of Commons mm -hmm. 26 hours a year mm -hmm. if he doesn't miss any... Uh, any week. He, he will be missing some of those weeks when he's away or mm -hmm. somebody is sick or whatever the situation come. So what we, are, what we were thinking, what he's saying, he only want to be responsible for 20 hours a year, mm -hmm. 20 hours a year. If he's not in the House of Commons, we cannot question him. Right. It's uh, can... part of how democracies work. Because <clears throat> yeah. the opposition's role is to hold the government accountable. And he's our chief executive officer, <laughs> so he has to be there to answer the questions, right? What's the English word is ducking? Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't want to come because we criticize him. We tell him this is how we expose him, either cash for access or opiate crisis or the debt set or, or the hardworking Canadians or uh, uh, the job crisis, uh, uh, all those crises, we cannot, we cannot talk to the brick ball uh, if he's not there. So 
we will fight for this th um, this thing we want we want to keep the old tradition mm. we want to make sure the prime minister trudeau show up to work five days a week just, just like, like everybody else just like anybody else because it's a job it, it, it's a job <laughs> but molly uh, he come from the different family background all right so um you know as we wind uh, wind up this conversation what would you like to tell Canadians who are very, very concerned about the direction of our country? Because nobody's happy. They're con uh, concerned about the deficit. They're concerned about the economy. They're concerned about uh, the refugee crisis. Um, there are a whole lot of things that they are, for the first time, Canadians are very generous people. You know, they're very understanding. You know, they, they like to go along, but for the first time, there is fear. And Cana so what would you like to say to them to allay their fears? Canadians are the best people. Canada is the best country on the, on the earth. Remember, when you have a Canadian passport holder, everybody loves you in the world. Mm -hmm. Compare it with many other nations. Would you go with a Canadian passport? Regardless where you go, people want to buy you coffee, people want to have a conversation with, want to, with you. But we want to keep the same Canada the way it is. Absolutely. The way, the way it, it, yes. So f let's start with the deficit. The, the deficit between the Ontario government, the deficit between the federal government is going to take us down from the top uh, have country to have not countries. Uh, the job creation, economy, uh, on the environment, even on the on every single file, Mr. Trudeau is. Uh, uh, is uh, is is gone to the to to the left to the other side. We have to come back to the center. We have to create more jobs. We have to br bring and represent Canadians. And you know what they think, not what he thinks. What is best for us? Yeah. Again, this is the thing. He, yes. he 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 come from the different background. He come from the different situation. Uh, he was he was brought in by the rich, uh, with the uh, rich family, rich situation. Mm. Uh, what he said, he kept no promise so far mm -hmm. what he promised in 2015. The only one promise he's keeping it, it looks like on the, on the, on the, on the selling dope. He thinks uh, he's spending all the money selling dope would bring more money to the government. This is the situation. This is the problem with the, with the government. We need to come back to the center. We need to come back creating jobs, creating wealth for the ordinary people. And one more last thing, if I can add something, it, I would like to know, Mr. Trudeau, if he can tell me or tell Canadian, what is middle class? Those people making $200,000, $190,000, is this a middle class? Or the, or the ordinary Canadian work for 25 bucks an hour, 19 bucks an hour, minimum wages, they considered middle class. What is middle class? We have asked this question, Countless times, they don't have the answer. Please answer us in the dollar figures. What is middle class? All right, so there you go. So if you have um, been concerned, like many of us have been concerned, then you know you're not the only one. So the good news is that we have democracy in this country and we have to do what is right. Hold your member of parliament accountable call him or her and tell them how you feel and that this is not the direction of the country that you have voted them for. So thank you so much for being here and uh, do come back thank again. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Um, just a phone call away. Anytime we can speak to the people, uh, I'm always available seven All days All right. Well, we're going to take you up on